Poland Daily Business Edition. Tonight uh, in our studio is Jerzy Bielewicz, Fa Gazeta Bankowa writer and financial analyst. Sir, welcome to the show. Good evening. Electrifying news. Uh, the One of the richest uh, Poles, Michał Solowow, owner uh, of the company called Sintos, that's a producer of uh, um, of uh, artificial gum and many other chemical uh, components, uh, announced that he is going to build a nuclear reactor for his own uh, company that will power uh, the, the its own operation. Um, the operator, uh, the, the design chosen is uh, BWRX300 produced by GE and Hitachi. That's a modular small reactor. Can we, um, and obviously this is experimental design, is not yet operational. Uh, it will be, as the GE says, in 2028. Yet, maybe, this is the reaction to the growing cost of the energy in Poland, and Mr. Solovov thinks a little bit ahead in order to get stable prices. He made the headlines, that's, that's for sure, but uh, it's never ending story in nuclear energy in Poland. Uh, but uh, the national strategy is to get into nuclear energy in Poland. And for example, uh, Polish government plans that 20 percent of uh, energy, electric energy produced in Poland would be nuclear in uh, to 2033. Uh, 2033. Uh, the, yeah. Piotr Naimski, as recently as uh, two, three months ago, announced that 2033 will be the year when the first Polish nuclear e energy starts operating. And 10 years later, about 20% of our energy mix will be produced this way, with no pollution, no um, impact, no footprint, just nuclear energy. And that's it. This is what we need to keep our coal-fired uh, plants operational. So as you see, the, the deadlines are a long, long way away. Uh, so we will see. Uh, it's, uh, in my opinion, uh, nuclear energy is uh, uh, quite, uh, it's needed in Poland uh, and uh, uh, we would uh, have to invest a lot of capital to uh, develop nuclear energy plants in Poland. But uh, there, there is interest, as you said, uh, G uh, and uh, Hitachi uh, are, are wank, working on technology. Uh, but uh, the financial side of the story, it's a private enterprise, uh, CentOS, uh, so it's... Uh, but the uh, big plan for nuclear energy is national plan. And uh, uh, financing the program would be uh, a key issue. And uh, there we would have to find investors uh, to, to finance these uh, this projects. And uh, I think that this is the main obstacle uh, for the future. Mr. Naimski stresses that Poland is looking for a stable uh, partners for this nuclear energy. And um, maybe last year was not a very good moment to make any deals because everyone knew that the election are coming the electional the, the output of the election is uncertain maybe the guys who signed up this uh, agreement will not be in power in few months so why bother well let's wait for the new guys now we are past this threshold the new old guys became new guys. Uh, Piotr Naimski will probably play a very important role in Polish energy uh, mix. So maybe this is the next year is the time, time to make decisions. If we make it strategic and, for example, would find an interest in the United States, for example, uh, to work together on uh, nuclear plants in Poland, then it would be very, very uh, good story and uh, uh, credible story. Well, uh, but it's a very, very political subject as well. Uh, 
uh, in Europe, uh, for example, Germany is uh, uh, getting out of nuclear Same energy. Same Sweden. But who has... on the other hand, uh, France just announced a uh, new nuclear power program and they, they'd like to stick to nuclear energy. I will not ask you where is the logic in um, Germany's decision, because I don't see one. But um, it is clear that the nuclear energy is something that is freeing our atmosphere from the pollution, at the same time providing clean, effective and uh, low cost energy. Uh, why, why it's a never-ending story in Poland? Because there is a conflict of, of interest uh, between coal sector and this future nuclear energy sector. And uh, it's, it's a political issue as well in Poland, uh, because energy produced from nuclear uh, sources would not be produced from coal uh, energy plants. So uh, we'll see how it uh, works in the future. On the other hand, the energy use in last year, 2018, was 171 terawatts. And uh, we are expecting this will only grow because we are still at about half of energy consumption per person comparing to the most developed countries in the world, like uh, South Korea or uh, United we, States we, or France. We've got an economic miracle or uh, huge, very dynamic economic growth. Our ports well, are can congested, say that, 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 our ra rail is not efficient enough. There, there are many, many uh, sectors that we have to invest, otherwise it would be, uh, we, we would limit our growth. Uh, so um, uh, we need energy, that's for sure. Uh, and uh, there is this national uh, plan for energy sector, which includes nuclear energy, which is very good because it would add to our economy a new sector, because if you have uh, nuclear energy power plants, you've got a huge new economic sector and uh, it would add the, the uh, to our is, growth as well. Can we be competitive in the European market with the energy prices? Uh, we have to. The, the, that's the basics of economics. If you have low uh, cost energy, then uh, you have uh, advantage in industrial production. And European Union Commissar, new guy who will take care for environment, is Mr. Timmermans, is promising that he will try to free Poland from coal and what he will do. He will rise up the taxes for CO2. And uh, that, it's an obstacle, but on the other hand, uh, our government uh, points out that um, uh, we w would uh, shift our um, energy mix, but uh, if it, uh, we wouldn't like to risk our economy. So please uh, give us subsidies and uh, we would be happy to switch uh, to uh, other sources of energy. And we will see how this discussion will uh, go. Uh, 2028 is the first deployment date of BWRX300, this new uh, modular nuclear reactor uh, produced by GE Hitachi. Will it be working in Poland in the first place? We will see. Jerzy Bielewicz. Thank you very much for this conversation. Thank you very much. And that was it for Poland Daily Business tonight.